welcome back to my farm channel welcome back to shan unit vlogs ja so this morning we're going to be picking some cereal gentleman that works for me here himself and hubby is going to be doing some um grass in the time mulching it to keep it cool and to also prevent the weeds from going up fast or too fast so um we're going to be mulching the time and i will be picking sorrow to make some sorrow juice ringing in the season early with some sorrow juice um the melon the melon didn't work out at the every all of the melon them spoil every everything in the ground spoil so both the the breeze off of the sea along with the heavy rain consistent rainfalls and everything everything mix up a whole a whole lot of different um natural elements of nature cause the melon not to to come forth but i'm going to be trying one this morning all right so this is the melon that i'm going to be taste testing it's small all of them come small but um i think uh this is about say a five pound melon or four pounds yeah but as you can see inside is pink because the melon them not get enough sunshine and you know it's the sun that makes inside the melon red so it wasn't getting a lot of sunshine top of that it was getting too much rain which you see that breeze that came with hurricane i mean tropical storm Raphael, it damaged a whole lot of farm and mine was one of them so you know all i have to do is count my losses with the melon and move on now the time now we're trying to get the time in order so we can make back something from what we spend um, when i bought the time to plant it was it was six hundred dollars per pound so i'm going to have to save time out of what i have now to replant and go further down in the melon in on to where we had the melon that's where we're gonna put continue with the time yeah so um i'm picking some sorrow guys because this will fit up and i don't want them to spoil so if we get one more rainfall all of these fit sorrow are going to be spoiled so i'm just picking some to make some sorrow juice as I said before, I didn't plant any soil for sale this year. And one of the main reasons is because when it comes to the picking part of it, it's hard to find people to pick them or pluck them. Pick and pluck. Well, we can't pick them, but the plucking part of it, it, we don't have the time to do the plucking part of it. And to get somebody to pluck it, you got to pay them by the pound. And it costs, it costs when you add up everything, I, you know, and what you get out of actually the soil itself, some of the times, you know, we're called. So, um, working with Mr. Earl Bailey to get one of those soil plucker machines that he said he made, he made. But, you know, this little soil that I'm picking this morning, I'm going to be using typical umbrella stick. I have something similar to an umbrella stick that I used to flood them. So that's what I'm going to be using. To. And I have my umbrella here that we use to pluck it. As you can see, this is the bottom of the umbrella handle. A friend of mine is putting together a soil plucker machine. So you know, it will be more easy for me and I plant my soil to um to get it plucked and dried. This year I only planted soil for home and family. No soil to sell this year and the big soil farmer in my area and big soil farmers in my area they say that like everybody else the rain and the breeze give the soil a beating so 
One of them lost over 500 pounds of sorrel rotten in the ground in their farm. Said he's only gonna get about 150 pounds, and he was expecting well over a thousand pounds this year. And this is organically grown sorrel, no fertilizer, no spray. Even though I use organic fertilizer, I still didn't use it because. It wasn't for mass production, as I said, it's just for family and myself. So, as you can see guys, I've got a relatively good amount of sorrow seeds. Um, I can throw them away or I can dry them. I'm gonna dry them so I can get more sorrel, more seeds because these are hybrid sorrel seeds, which means three months typically um, the sorrels will be ready within three months. And um, this is the surreal. Switch up could I wrap a little bit more but I'm gonna eat it anyhow. I ate one the other day and trust me it was so fresh because of the excess rain that we've been getting. But this one nice guys. This one actually tastes good. Let me show you the inside. Sweet. You have diabetes and everything there. High blood sugar. Can't eat the sweet stuff in the morning. Yeah. It's too sweet. So guys, as you can see, the time farm is clean now, but they're, we're going to take out some of the grass that we weed out and we're going to put some dry grass in between to keep down the, to keep down the dirt, to mulch the time and to prevent the weeds from growing up fast. So that's what we're going to do this morning. Well, my hubby's going to be doing it along with, um, the gentleman who's actually my cousin that works with me sometimes. So then I'm going to do that part while I will be making some cereal, some cereal juice, a lovely cocoa. <laughs> These are some cocoa plants. <sighs> the melon garden get a nut, guys, but there are melons in there that I can have and make juice and stuff like that. But otherwise, it get a beaten. Much water and the melon, too much rain. They're chopping down some some trees just to give the the, gar the garden somewhere air and sunlight um sorry i'll make some cereal juice um i don't have a lot of cereal i'm going to be planting cereal soon but the land the land needs to clean down it's under pure bush but this morning we're gonna make some cereal juice I don't know how you guys do your cereal. Let me know. Some people boil the cereal and some people draw the cereal. Um, I do both. Sometimes I boil, sometimes I draw. But they say not to boil, it's better to draw. But I find when I boil it, the cereal is rich. It's just so rich. Some people say them dry it and them get it rich the same way. But 
you know, it's just my personal feelings about the Cyril and what works for me. So just do what works for you, right? All right, so I'm going to be getting some. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And remember, if you haven't subscribed as yet, to like, share, and subscribe to my vlog channel. Thanks for making it shine unique vlogs, J.A.